Is it unnecessary to use that unit of work pattern because Entity Framework Core already implements this pattern? Yesterday, I made a video about how this pattern allows us to have transactions that work across multiple repositories. And I received several comments just like this one. Some people suggest that UOW, the unit of work, is an abstraction over another abstraction already implemented by Entity Framework Core and isn't necessary. What are your thoughts on this? The problem with this reasoning is that it assumes that we're always going to use Entity Framework Core. The whole point of the pattern is to give us flexibility to use other technologies, like Dapper. In other words, when we implement this pattern, we're not tying ourselves to a specific data access technology. The code I'm showing here works perfectly fine with Entity Framework Core, Dapper, Ada.net, etc. Of course, if you have a small application and you know that you are going to use Entity Framework Core, then maybe it is not strategic for you to use this pattern. Still, it is important to understand these concepts so you know when to use a tool and when not to. So what do you think? Do you use that unit of work pattern? Let's talk about it in the comments.